By the grace of God, by your special prayers, I'm going to be 70. They say <laughs> the ripest fruit is also saddest. But when you are 70, it means you are also closer to where you are going. But I'm not in a hurry to leave this beautiful earth. I want, I want to live longer so that I'll be seeing you. Playing with you, laughing with you. And we're going to have Thanksgiving. We have to praise God for all that he has done for me throughout this period. 70 years. Thank you. Thank God for making me SGF and for using my very good friends I show what you the special instrument of that appointment. Since I knew him in 1993 you see what you remains a man to do business with. He respects his friends. Benue is one of the seven states recommended in the first phase for construction of 1,000 housing units. This has nothing to, to do with politics has everything to do with the economic reality. Some people's homes were destroyed. And when he was campaigning, he said he was going to do what? To reconstruct and resettle. Basically, well, that's what he's doing. No politics. It's in good faith. And it is in the interest of those who were in the direct line of fire. Pray for our governor. You worked hard for him to win election. Pray for him. Allow him to settle down and deliver to the special mandate to give him. You gave him. And you see, I'm becoming a little bit weak, so I have to lean on her. Don't lean on me when you are not strong. When you need a friend, call me. Just like the world is celebrating Christmas, for us in Benue and North Central Nigeria, Akume is our Jesus. So as they celebrate Christmas, we also gathered here to celebrate our own Daju. I think that, in fact, first and foremost, is the greatest thing that has happened to Benue in the last 20 years. Benue have never ascended to this level, both in government and in politics and to have an opportunity to have their son in the person of Senator Dr. George Akume as SGF is a great 
deliverance, I'll put it that way, for Benue State. Because there is a man that holds a key to politics in Benue. He is somebody who is like a father, a philanthropist, a benefactor. He, is, he takes care of the less privileged, he looks after the poor, he is someone who is caring for the well-being of everybody in Benue State. He doesn't underrate of anybody, he doesn't discriminate. He's, he's not an, a, a businessman. He doesn't save money for himself alone. What he looks out for is for the welfare and uh, uh, well-being of Benue people. That is what is uh, paramount to him. We want you to know that the people you see here today is born out of their own desire considering the time, but they said they have long awaited for this day. The people you see here are saying this from the bottom of their hearts, what you mean to them. For us, we we'll keep praying for you, Daddy. We we'll keep praying for you because you mean so much to us. You mean so much to us. Every notable Benue family, whether here or not, knows that you have sacrificed so much for this state called Benue. Thank you, our Father, for not disappointing us. Thank you for always standing by the average Benue person irrespective of tribe, irrespective of religion, irrespective of background, you have proven to the living, even the dead, what you represent. We will never disappoint you. Have that in I want to thank all of you for always standing by the, our father and by this party. We know your expectations are high, but the rest are sure that with Him and with God, by Him, we shall surely meet your expectation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and may God continue to bless you.